So I guess we'll just kind of start. Griff has said that you've been doing some individual stuff. So kind of where are you at with the timeline on being able to go three on three or five on five and that kind of stuff? I think I'm very close. I mean, um, you know, everything that they mapped out um, after my procedure and um, being able to get in the weight room in the court, I've been right on pace. Um, it's been slow, but that's kind of the way they planned it out. Um, but I think everything's been going great so far, no setbacks. Um, like I said, I've been feeling really good, so I'm excited about, you know, the next couple of days to a week um, to to really start to get after it, and hopefully everything goes well. Are you expecting to be ready for the season opener? That's the plan. I mean, um, like I said, you know, sometimes things change, but so far I've been on pace with everything that I've been doing. Um, so we'll go over the schedule again, see where I'm at, see how I feel, um, and just keep tracking things that way. I mean, uh, I don't want to set a hard day to when I'll be out there uh, because it's all about feel and comfort, um, and they've been doing a great job of just making sure every step of the way I've been feeling great and um, feeling like myself, and so far I have been. Uh, for you, how difficult is it to be slowed down? Like, I'm sure you probably want to just go out there and play right away, but like, how, is it a difficult process? Though? No, nah, not anymore. Uh -huh. You know, as you get older, you get smarter. Um, you realize that, you know, they're trying to protect us as players um, and have the best and longest career we're, we're capable of having. And this summer, they've been doing a great job. Um, like I said, I've been feeling great, you know, um, ever since I started ramping back up. Um, each week has been a step in the right direction. So not not frustrated. It can get annoying at times when, you know, you want to try to do things and like, no, not yet. Um, but everything's been going smooth. What is the, I mean, what is the final step in order to get you on the floor? Is it just clearance or do you feel, how do you feel when you're on, out there on the floor in the individual drills? Is there like something that's still holding back? No, like I said, I feel great. It's just, you know, a progression. Um, you can't just get thrown into the fire. I mean, that's how, you know, you don't heal properly or you re-injure yourself. So um, just taking it step by step, like, like I've been saying and what they've been telling me to do. Um, as players, we're anxious to get back out, out there as soon as as soon as we can, as soon as we feel like we can, um, but sometimes we're just not ready yet, and they know that. So they've been doing a great job of you know letting me push the envelope some, and then some also days when they're just no, not today. Um, we'll save it for another day. What's your about um, you know impressions of of, a, of Griff and the staff and like how that's coming together, be it messaging or what you're seeing coaching wise in the five on fives. Obviously, it's been five years of one thing. Yeah. Um, so just thoughts there on how that connection is happening and, and how you're seeing them kind of manage you. It's been great to see those guys have been getting after it. Um, you know, very competitive practices straight to the point. You know, um, the coaching staff is doing great of teaching us, you know, their new lingo, um, what they expect from us. And the guys are responding to it well. Um, so these last, was the second day, third day? Um, the third day, same thing. I mean, um, these guys are working. and. I wish I was out there with them um, on the practice court with them, but you know, being along, watching them, talking to them, uh, it's been a great feeling. Uh, sorry, one more injury. Mm -hmm. uh, do you feel like like this is some? Or do you think this is going to be something that you guys have to manage throughout the year, or is it once you get to that spot where, all right, Chris, you're 100 percent ready to go, you're just yeah. going to go, and there won't be like, you know, yeah, stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I don't think the plan is to manage it. Um, you know, once I'm out there. You know, that could change. Hopefully it doesn't. Um, I just try to listen to them. But as far as I know is, you know, I, I should be fine. Um, I don't think this is a situation where last year we're trying to protect myself as much as possible. Um, I feel like I'm in a great space mentally. Uh, body feels great. Knees feels great. Um, so I don't think this is something we should have to manage going down the road. Peter Fahey accepted the business leader award. I yeah. say you and Pat were there in attendance. Can you talk to me about why it was important for you to be there and yeah, it's been great. You know, Peter's been, you know, a great friend of mine over the years, getting to know him and his family and same. Uh, he's been very supportive of my career, you know, um, over the years, as much crap he gives me and, you know, the trash talking and whatnot. Um, but to see him getting an award like that is cool. Um, to see the other side of him, to see, you know, what he's done for this community. I mean, I've seen it firsthand and personal on a daily basis, um, working with him and talking with him. But then, but for him to get an award like that, um, and get recognized from, you know, the Harvard Business School about, you know, how he's growing the Deer District and what he's done with this organization, taking it to the next level. Uh, it was cool, and, you know, I was glad to be a part of that night with him, witness that with him and celebrate uh, with him and his wife. Uh, Griff has talked about the, the shift in defensive philosophy in terms of on ball, more aggressive. Yeah. He just said how broke the front court might be up a little bit on pick and roll, maybe, you know, not as back. So for someone who is, 
for years said, well, they're back there. Yeah. Um, what's the, I know you're not doing it yet, but what's maybe the mental process of like, you might be the one that needs to be back there. For you. Mm-hmm. Like, how have you seen that sort of him take to that a little bit? And just yeah. a few practices and even what's going to be asked of you yeah. on ball or help side. Of that. It's going to be an adjustment, but I think we have the team, um, the capability of doing it, you know. Um, Brooke, like you said, has been in the back so far uh, protecting the rim, but I think he'll still be there at certain times. It's, I don't think this is a whole game thing. Um, but, you know, like I said, it's an adjustment going to be a change, but I think it's something great to have, you know, a aggressive de- defense to try to create more turnovers, create more havoc, um, and get guys on the break and on wings and running. Um, so I'm excited for it, excited for the change to have a balance of different styles of defense, just like different styles of, styles of offense, um, something that, you know, we could go to and change it up and go game by game, possession by possession, maybe just, you know, who's out there and what's out there. Um, but to see Brooke out there is great. To see Bobby out there is great. Rolo, all the bigs. Um, I think they like to challenge this, themselves um, also and let us know they can do it inside and out. Um, so, you know, I'm excited about it, um, especially about what I've been seeing so far. Chris, talking about physicality being a big part of that team's identity, and someone who's a big guard. Is yeah. that something that's exciting for you? Are you trying to think about how you stay out of foul trouble? Like, yeah, it's. You know, it's always a balance of, you know, how physical can you get um, without foul- fouling. Um, you know, playing against him, against those Toronto teams, those Chicago teams, um, very physical teams that didn't foul that much. Um, great at, you know, being in gaps and getting out to shooters, using their bodies, uh, just making it, making it a living hell for us offensively um, to really get a rhythm, to get to our spots and whatnot. Um, so to see that philosophy uh, firsthand and for him to teach us that, um, I think it's, it could be very useful. Um, we have a a lot of great defenders, I think. Um, great team defenders also, which I think can benefit us. Dame spoke highly of the of Marjan mm-hmm. yesterday. I would love to hear your viewpoint on what you're seeing from the young guys. Yeah, um, you know, marjan has been working um, along with you know all the other guys. AJ's one of them. Um, but Marjan, he's, he, he won the, the one-on-one battle today, which was cool to see uh, him competing against Giannis and Dame. Uh, got the second second win in a row. Um, but, you know, he's been pinning and work. Um, he knows he has a great opportunity in front of him. Um, he knows it's not going to be not it's not going to be given to him. He's going to have to work for it, and he's showing that. Um, he's proving that the work that he's put in over the summertime, the confidence that he he's gotten over the two years in this league with him being a G League the first year, and that's with uh, us last year, um, that he's growing. Um, and we expect big things from him. Um, we're going to need him because with the deepest team is going to be the best team. I feel like, and he's a guy that you know not a lot of people know, but they should know him um, because he's got all the potential, all the talent in the world. Have you thought about what is going to open up for you when all of you are together offensively? I mean, you've carried a lot of weight in the game. Yeah. Much time you've had either the top perimeter defender or the second one. I, I mean, I, yeah. I imagine two-man game, like when you're involved, mm-hmm. how has your head gone on to those For sure, yeah. For sure. I mean, uh, for the last couple of years, I began most or all the attention on the perimeter. Um, to have another guy like Dame step in and take a lot of that from me, I, I think that should open open up my game a lot, um, a lot easier, catches, looks, whatever you want to call it. Um, but hopefully, I'll be able to play in a lot more space than I have in the in the past with that guy out there with the ball.